Okay. Welcome to the shop. Uh, if to bear with me, there's a little bit of a mess down here. We're a little bit of remodeling in the shop. Um, so there's a number of projects going on. This is first time posting to YouTube, so we'll see how it goes. Just bear with me and I think we'll all get through it. Um, I'm gonna start by, uh, today we're going to make a, I'd like to call it a, a hybrid segmented bandsaw box. Um, and it's for a young lady who is a daughter of a gentleman I work with and she asked for something in purple and yellow and in the shape of a butterfly. So we'll see if we can com accommodate that. I have an idea. I think it should work out all right. Um, uh, I guess the obvious selections were purple heart and yellow heart for the wood so we didn't have to paint anything or, or get involved with some elaborate staining or anything. but. Uh, so I guess the first step is going to be we're going to lay out uh, the blanks and start sawing them into strips to glue together to make the segmented look. Um, and then followed by uh, some time with the planer and then we'll get a big, a big block glued up and carry on from there. So stick around and Hope you like what you see and you click like and subscribe. Thanks. So we've got 14 pieces of purple heart that started out with a stock thickness of three quarter inch and we've ripped it into approximately seven eighths, 15 sixteenths wide, allows for some planar removal. Um, and the same with the yellow heart. And now what is gonna happen here was we'll segmate, or, yeah, excuse me, alternate. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna alternate the colors like so into two panels. And what each panel will um, will yield two of the finished pieces I need. Oops. Gotta get that right. Like so. 
There, like so. So, we get these glued up and let them set for a while and then rip them into two smaller pieces. Two will be then planed down to a little over three quarters of an inch. That part really doesn't matter. And these will be the middle of a three layer glue up for the final block that we'll saw into the, into the jewelry box. And these, this one will get divided into two and part of it will be sawn off, uh, resawn, so that we can have the lid and cover. And then that'll go on either side of the center block. Um, we'll see how that works out. So stick around for the next step. Okay, we had a small miscalculation. I needed three sets of 14. Lost myself in the math. But anyways, so took a break and cut the rest of the pieces. So now I got all the pieces, the pieces grouped into three glue ups. The, we want the thicker dimension to be what's planed off for finishing. So everything has to be rotated 90 degrees and then pretty much glued up like any other uh, type of uh, panel glue up you would do. I'm going to assume that the bench is pretty well flat, so I'm going to use that as my flat reference and see how that comes out. We got joining and, and other things to do to flatten them out later, so I can tolerate a little, a little bit that's out of out of wax, so I'm not terribly worried about how things sit. Now let's see. So I figured I'd spare you the um, scraping and cleaning of the extra glue, extra glue off of all the boards, but uh, there you have it. Three pieces, all approximately 11 inches wide and about 22 inches long. Uh, 14 layers, half yellow heart, half purple heart. We'll let those set for, you know, probably till tomorrow morning anyways. And then run them through the planer and progress on to the next step of gluing up 
the main block that will be the bandsaw box itself and resawing off the lid and bottom. So catch you in the morning then.